Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. Uh, one, one of the things I've noticed, you hear me talk about the weak and stupid. <laughs> you know, and I thought, well, maybe people need to understand what weak and stupid means. Uh, maybe they haven't figured it out. Um, uh, we we see a lot of it, and uh, that's not a problem. It's a problem when the weak and stupid is telling you what to do. That becomes a problem. And um, but anyway, I'm just going to go to the basics on weak and stupid. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, my wife used to say I'm not. Um, in infamy, I'm you know I don't really care, you know I I I've got a I got a bad attitude, especially towards the weak and stupid, <laughs> you know. So, um, I say I've owned businesses all my life. I I don't have any any of my employees, none of them, are weak and stupid. None of them are. Uh, now, the basics, the basic to look at weak and stupid is a child. You can go like a baby. A, a baby's, you know, I mean, it's completely dependent on somebody taking care of it. It's because it's weak and it's kind of stupid, <laughs> you know. And I have no problem about realizing reality. And that is the child, the baby, is weak and stupid. Now, as they get older, they'll get into school, and um, uh, they're still weak and stupid. And uh, what your job as a parent is to help educate them and feed them properly. Get them in good habits, you know, not a habit of drinking pop all the time and going to McDonald's. And this is all bad habits. You need to get them in good habits of eating the proper food, doing things, not sitting around playing on their telephone. They need to be doing something. That's how they're going to learn. And then uh, now what I, I loved it in my restaurant, I used to get. Oh, 16 year olds and something like that oh, to wash dishes and of course they're they're young you know they're they're not they haven't been around still and so uh, they're weak and they're stupid but I give them responsibilities and and I make sure that they do these responsibilities that will help strengthen them and then uh, I explain this needs to be done because of this and this and this. Now they're getting smarter. So now they're they're learning not to be weak and not to be stupid. And they learn to ask questions. And uh, if something's uh, not right to them, and they got to remember, they're young and still weak and stupid. So this isn't right. Why do I need to come in? You say I need to come in at 4 o'clock. Why? I mean, I'm not... I've got other things to do. You know what I mean? Well, okay, what's more important? Those other things or money? So then you can do these other things. You know, and then, oh, yeah, that's right. I need to make money so I can do these other things. You're helping them so they're not weak and stupid. And in my case, you know, I, I love these kids so so much that I yell at them. I mean, I'm mean and nasty, and I'm yelling at them. Hey, go ahead and get that done. Get to do this, do that. Why'd you do that? You know, you know. I mean, I mean, I'm really giving them hell all the time, and uh, that's why my wife thought, well, you know, I don't, I don't like them. I don't do it. No, I like them a lot, and I want them to be grow up and be a good person. Right now, I'm in the reality. I'm not their mom and dad. Even even my own kids, I knew they were young, dumb, 
and weak. I knew it. Everything I was doing to try to grow them up is to strengthen them up and make them smart. And uh, I did the same with the dishwashers, you know, let them, and then waitresses and stuff like that. Uh, they have to learn to take personal responsibility. That's what personal responsibility is. Once you understand personal responsibility, that goes a long ways in making you so you're not weak and stupid. <laughs> because people take personal responsibility, they're not weak and stupid. <laughs> you know, I mean, they make it a point to not be weak. In other words, be strong. How do I strengthen myself and not be stupid? Uh, how do I get smarter? You know, how do I learn more and this type of stuff? So uh, there's a reason why I, I'm talking about the weak and stupid. Now, there's weak and stupid. Uh, that's why, okay, cops. It's a natural thing um, when a uh, 16, 18, 20-year-old uh, young person gets stopped by the police. They give them a bunch of shit. I mean, they uh, ask them questions, doing all this kind of stuff. Why? The kid doesn't know the Constitution. They don't know their rights. And, and that's okay because now they have somebody to practice on. Because remember, remember the police, uh, it, now you can look around and you can see they're, they're weak and they're stupid now, the police are. Because they don't know the difference between right and wrong. They don't know the difference between criminals and non-criminals. They, they don't understand that. And see, when I was going to be a cop, our only goal was to look for criminals. Every time we stop somebody, we're looking for a criminal. We're looking, there's, there's something. When you're looking in the car, you're looking for things that a criminal will have. And uh, a criminal will act a certain way and this type of stuff. So this is what we look for. And uh, that's, that's called policing. I know they don't use police anymore because they're law enforcement. And that's because they're, this is the law. You have to do this. And there are, my job is to make you do this. I'm so stupid that I'm going to go along with all this stuff, even though it makes no sense at all. See, that's why I've lost a lot of respect for police. The good police have retired or they've, they've quit. It's kind of like, you know, you getting your jab, you either get it or you're, you can't work here anymore. The best thing is just, okay, and leave. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're the, ones that, they're the ones that are telling you these are the requirements for this job, and this is one of the requirements I am not going to do. And it only, who can do that? Well, it's the strong and the smart. You can say, I'm not going to do it, and they leave. That's it. And if if the smart and the strong, if there were more of them, and they did all that, then they wouldn't come up with this crazy crap. Well, you have to do it. That's why they're they're losing nurses, doctors. That's why they're complaining and stuff. They won't even do this stuff, and but they don't get the the press on on how many of them aren't doing it. I mean, they know there's something not right, and but it goes far beyond that. But like I say. You look, look to see anytime, uh, for one thing, nobody is going to tell you what to do. They don't do that. That's not the American way. The American way, we don't tell people what to do. What it is, these people, they come into wherever, well, you know, they don't know the procedures, so I'm going to smarten you up, educate you on what the procedures are. You know, you come in, you stay in line over here, and then from there they'll send you over here and there. They're educating you. They don't tell you what to do. For one thing, it's impolite to tell people what to do. Now, I told you, I was 17, and I'm, uh, I was born and raised in Topeka, and they sent me down south. And when they sent me down south here, they kept saying, you're a criminal. You know, and why am I a criminal? Um... Uh, yes, I do the same stuff as a criminal does. I was in the racial days, so I would fight. And uh, I never, I've never had a temper, but I knew what was going to happen. Somebody come up and start giving me a 
you know, start saying stuff, mean, nasty stuff. I know where we're going with this. Eventually, we're going to, it's a beat down on me. I know that. So, and they don't do it one. I mean, there's four, five, six, they'll come up and start doing that. So I know that's what's going to happen. So I don't wait till then. I start fighting. And they just took it for granted. But you're a criminal. You you got a crazy uh, uh, attitude. And you're, you know, you, uh, no, your temper just goes crazy. No, it doesn't. Uh, but I knew what was going to happen. <laughs> so I, when I went down south, uh, old farts like me, I'd be doing something that's young and stupid, weak and stupid, and it whip me upside the back of the head and say, boy, I don't do that. And then I say, oh, okay, I don't do that. You know, simple enough. Was it the law? I don't know. Was it good manners and moral? Probably was <laughs> for me not to do that. And, uh, you know, take your hat off, bam, and slap it off me, you know, this, this, this kind of stuff. You know, I mean, they're, they're teaching me. And since I'm young and uh, weak and stupid, that's one of the ways of learning. And uh, the, the sooner you get smart and strong, then you can see stuff, and then you will learn by watching this stuff. But like I say, there's a lot of weak and stupid people and they are you can see them now at all ages uh, you can you can you can watch it uh, weak and stupid people have to be told what to do then you have to make them hey we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna find you we're gonna give you a ticket to this this is a mandate you have to do this you know what I mean where are you coming up with this stuff <laughs> you know what I mean it's unconstitutional and it's, it's not even moral, you know. So where can you come up with this stuff? See, so this is where, uh, what I'm talking about. The people that listen to this are weak and stupid. you got to wear a mask. And you see people, I'm wearing a mask so I don't get sick. Okay, so you're stupid. You must be weak, too, because you don't realize the mask doesn't work. Just kind of like the jab. It doesn't work either. So when you take it now, you're okay. No, you're not okay. You still got to wear the mask. You still got to stay six foot apart. You still got to stay at home. You know, you haven't figured out yet that you're weak and you're stupid. Anyway, I just wanted to kind of clear the air on that. This is Mike, nostressmike.com.